I want to show you around uh, the Georgia Virtual Course uh, quickly, and most of this will be the same for all Georgia Virtual Courses. This is the front page when you uh, log into your physics course. It has these quick links on the front. Uh, it has class resources, which is very important. It has teacher information, which has my contact info and some stuff about me on it. Live learning sessions, which has recordings of past live learning sessions and a link to current to the um, Zoom classroom that I will use on Wednesday nights at six o'clock. A link to modules, a link to announcements, a link to the getting started module and a link to extra learning opportunities or it's kind of like extra credit. So let's start uh, by looking at modules. When you look at modules, it's all of the work um, and, and the learning that takes place in the course. So you would start here at the getting started module and you have to complete uh, one item to be able to move on to anything else. And that one item is the acknowledgement form quiz. So you go through all of this material, the learning, and then you take the acknowledgement form quiz. After you take and submit that, <clears throat> uh, all of the modules open. You will take the welcome live learning session quiz. You will probably need to watch the, the video of the welcome live learning session before you take that. Then the introduction to a Georgia virtual course, which uh, walks you through Georgia virtual courses. And then the content for this course starts. Now, if you look at the format, you have the standards if you want to look at them. And then you have the module overview. So the big picture of what you're going to look at. Pardon me for that. Uh, there's a bell. Uh, then a lesson. That's the, the stuff that you learn. So that's a video lesson to look at. A potential energy lesson, another lesson. And then you have a quiz. Um, then you have another lesson. And then you have another assignment. It's a discussion. And then you have another assignment that's a lab, and then a lesson, a lab, a quiz, and then finally the test. Uh, when you take labs, there will be um, instructions that you can download, and there will be a submission form where you do all your work. So you will need to open both of those documents for labs. So if we go back to modules, uh, when you take when you do a discussion. Let's go down to a discussion. To you read the prompt, read the question that you're supposed to be answering. And then to create your answer, you click on reply and you'll type your post. And once you have replied, you'll see everyone else's posts as well. <clears throat> uh, when you take a quiz or a test, you can't pause it. You take them in one sitting. Um, so be real careful. Don't accidentally start a quiz or a test because you have to, there's no pausing it once you do. So uh, be careful before you click that. Okay, so other pages. You have the live learning session page. If you click there, these are recordings of the previous sessions. And this is the topic that was covered in the previous session. If you would like to come to the live session next week, then there's the link right here um, that will take you to the Zoom meeting. Um, <clears throat> the class resources link is important. Um, if you have any questions, any trouble with anything, the student success site is helpful. Georgia virtual policies are right here. The assignment list for this course is here. And it's actually open. I'm going to close that. Some video resources you might want to use. The formula sheet that you can use for this class. And you can use that on every quiz and every test and the final exam. So that's a very helpful thing to have. And for each of the units, for each of the modules, I have some resources. Now, the most important thing I think here is I have done a lab walkthrough video for all of the labs to show you how to do the lab, to show you how to use the simulation to show you how to do calculations. Um, <clears throat> these videos aren't opening particularly. There we go. Um, sorry for that bell again. Um, it is a video. I have the simulation open. I have the lab submission form. And I show you how to take data, how to do the calculations, and walk you through the lab 
you'll do much better on the labs if you use the lab videos. Now, how did we get there? Remember, we went to the class resources page, and then we looked at the uh, unit resources for the unit, that the module that we're in. And there is where you'll find the lab walkthrough videos for the labs. Back to the main page. So we've looked at modules. Uh, announcements are important. Uh, there will be, um, these are all announcements that uh, if you came into the class late, you might have missed. Make sure that you go back and look at them. Um, I posted a walkthrough for the Power Lab here. Um, I changed the date of the live session. Um, lab requirements, some specific requirements when you do a lab for my course. So um, uh, make sure that you look at the announcements regularly. And if you join the class late, that you look at all the announcements that you've missed. So go back. That's the announcements page. So what's not left? Um, what's ELO? I have two uh, extra learning opportunities in this course. I've made a practice test for each module. You have to take the test before you take the unit test in order to receive points. And if you make above a 70, a 70 or above on the practice test, I will add five points to the corresponding module test. I have guided notes templates. <clears throat> if you open it, it will uh, give you a page that you can take notes on from the course content. If you upload your notes so that I can see that you took them, I will add points to your uh, to the quiz that matches those notes. But you have to submit the notes before you take your quiz. So you can't wait until the end of the semester to go back and do all these and get to the points. The notes have to be taken before the quiz to get the points, and the practice tests have to be taken before your test to get the points. There will be no more extra learning opportunities added at the end of the semester uh, to help if your grade is low. These are, these are them, and they have to be done uh, as you move through the course. So I think that pretty much covers uh, everything within the course. So the main place that you will want to go is modules. It has all of your lessons, all of your quizzes, all of your assignments, and this will be the same for all of your Georgia Virtual courses. I hope you found this helpful.